Is James Robinson the hardest working man in America? For 10 years, James Robinson of Detroit hasn't missed a single day of work. What's even more remarkable is that Robinson walks a round trip of 21 miles a day just to get to work. You don't work, you don't eat. Second Thessalonians 3. Clocking in, clocking out. Six days about the week. You don't work, you don't eat. Second Thessalonians 3. For those with ears, they can hear. For those with eyes, they can see. You don't work, you don't eat. Second Thessalonians 3. Clocking in, clocking out. Six days about the week. You don't work, you don't eat. Second Thessalonians 3. You don't work, you don't eat. You don't work, you don't eat. Harvest truly is plenteous, but the laborers there are few. few. I pray therefore that the Most High will send laborers to you. you. It's a light thing to serve the Most High. Raise up all the twelve tribes. Wake up Jacob out of deep sleep and open up your eyes. The boys work in husbandry. Hard work I hate not. Ecclesiastes Apocrypha, chapter 7, 15, Sirach. You hearken unto your wife, curses the ground for thy sake. Now shall thou eat bread in the sweat of thy face. Second Thessalonians. Only in three and ten, Paul commanded through thick and thin. Don't work and you don't eat, and you looking weak in the sight of men. First Timothy chapter five. five if five, any five, man not provide, five, for five, his own household, then the faith he had denied. denied Christ denied. walking down in Galilee, he saw two young fishermen. I told you and Pete to follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. To enter into his rest, rest let us labor rest, not in vain. vain to all the servants vain, of the Most High in the four corners do the same. Vain, you don't work, you don't. Don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, clocking in, clocking out, six days about the week, you don't work, you don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, for those with ears they can hear, for those with eyes they can see, you don't work, you don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, clocking in, clocking out, six days about the week, you don't work, you don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, you don't work, you don't eat, you don't work, you don't eat. Work it never ends, the pay is endless The people are starving, so I'm planting and harvesting The most high is watering in his hands, my soul is in This business is not mine, but I'm down to I die Who is that? Is that some evil kids with their pockets broke? With their spirits rich? Break it down, skip through like God said Who is that they got to Repent and do 180, hit the ground and start praying daily Gaining salvation is gonna take some time and plenty patience Gotta know what you follow and make sure it's not pagan Trying to get my hands clean, don't need your blood on me Got to walk the straight line, James 5 and 20 So much work to do, kingdom only for a few Clocking in like overtime, got to switch to overdrive Satan's always mad at us, cause his time is over with Preaching to all nations, to the Sabbath kept by all nations Preaching to all nations, to the Sabbath kept by all nations don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, clocking in, clocking clock out, six days about the week, you, you don't work, you that. don't Put eat, that on the second PA Thessalonians system. 3, for those with ears they can hear, for those with eyes they can see, you don't work, you don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, clocking in, clocking out, six days about the week, you don't work, you don't eat, second Thessalonians 3, you don't work, you don't eat, you don't work, you don't eat. Yesterday, we had a historical thing that happened in the city of Birmingham. They call it historical, you know, made history and all that kind of stuff. But I'm here this morning to talk about another history. History. To me, yesterday was one of the most bizarre scenes I ever seen in this city. One of the most comedic scenes I ever witnessed in public. When I witnessed men with size 13, 14 shoes out there kissing each other in the mouth in front of little kids, it was just bizarre. It was like a freak scene going on. That's what I call it. Now, I know about the government and laws being made, but I got a law this morning that came out of Ephesians chapter 5 and verse 31. And it says, shall a man leave his mother and father and join to his wife, and they shall become one. And to have your kids out there yesterday, six, seven years old, holding flags, the Bible said, provoke not your children. Tariah, Tariah. Proverbs 22 and verse 6, 7, train up a child in the right way he should go. And when he get old, he wouldn't depart. 
I'm so delighted and honored that God would have me bold enough to stand here and talk about this issue. Where all the preachers was yesterday. You know what I mean? The only time going to make them come out of them doors when they stop them tithing off in your church. And you can't have men's day no more. And youth day and women's day. I bet you're going to have a sign in your hand with brother said then. You're going to be standing in front of the White House then. No, y'all got to leave us alone. You know what I mean? But somebody should have stood up yesterday. Ain't it funny? Everybody got a right but the Christian. So I'm here this morning to talk about my right. Because I got a right too. I can barely say praise the Lord in public now. I might go to jail. I might threaten a lawsuit on the job. You can't have a, tell a person to have a blessed day. Ain't it sad? Y'all, I got a text this morning going to share, which I'm getting on out of here. I got a text all the way from Washington, D.C., and I'm going to break the news to y'all, and y'all in the back of me also. In two more years, in 2016, February the 9th, you won't only be able to marry your partner that you play football with no more. You're going to be able to marry your dog. You're going to be able to marry your cat. You're going to be able to marry your snake. You're going to be able to marry your rat, your roaches. Some of y'all been with the roaches so long, you might well go and marry the roaches. <laughs> He been around your house so long, you gonna be able to marry your broom, your mop. Ain't we going crazy in this world, y'all? Ain't we going crazy? I know Alabama made a lot of money. Y'all say, I know somebody else made a lot of money, too. Duracell ain't got no batteries on the shelf this morning. All the batteries gone. I tried to find a battery for my radio this morning. Couldn't find them nowhere. I said, what happened? They said, Rev, they bought all the batteries last night. They celebrated some kind of way. Just bought all about the what they do to the no every day. I'm going to preach. I don't go there. You know what I mean? I don't know what they did with all them batteries. Now, Mr. Mayor, don't stop me in the hallway, you and your security team, and tell me I can't come here talking like I talk because you got a political job to do. I got a biblical job to do. And I'm going to do mine and you do yours. I'm going to stay in my lane and you stay in yours. I ain't bought by nobody. If I had to die doing what I'm going to do, I'm just fine. Y'all remember Peter and si uh, Paul and Silas were thrown in jail. I'm getting out of here, Mr. Off. Don't you push that button. Time you remember Paul and Silas <laughs> were thrown in jail? You remember the three Hebrew boys were thrown in the fiery furnace? You remember Daniel was thrown in the last den? They didn't say when he show up or if he show up. They said, we know he going to show up. Why are we scared today, preachers? Your time Everybody time. coming out of the closet but the saints. When we going to come out of the closet? And all the gay people ain't show up down there. Y'all see, we got some down low people that didn't show up. Some of them down here. 